had my battery die. Well, it's a little bit low, 12.9 volts. So I was thinking maybe my new mirror I put in was killing it. So I'm gonna make this video to help people out in the future. I'm gonna tell you how you can check for a parasitic load on your car battery. It's pretty simple, you only need a couple tools. You need a wrench to get your battery cables off. And you need a digital voltmeter. Today I'll be using my Fluke 87 digital voltmeter. And I'll be using my Chevrolet late at night. Chevrolet. Um, so I'll show you what to do when it gets. You have an option here when you want to do your test. You can either use your positive side of your battery, which is going to create sparks every time you put your meter in, or you can use a negative. I originally did it with the positive. I wasn't liking the whole little spark deal. So I started doing the uh, the negative, so I had a negative ground spark instead of a positive spark. And when your meter's connected like that, and I short the ground, I can uh, fry some stuff on the car. So I didn't want to do that. On these uh, side post GMs, a little bit tricky to get anything on your uh, battery right in there because you know side post to thread it in. So I just use a bolt that fits in there, thread it in. After I move my negative cable, and I put an alligator clip on my voltmeter, and I have to basically just hold the probe to that. So kind of frees you up a little bit. I'll uh, show you how you set up your meter in a. Every digital voltmeter is a little bit different, but on this Luke 87 pretty much have your little dial over here. What you're gonna do, well, plug in your common. You're gonna put it on that right there, milliamps, amps, and it's, it defaults to AC, so you're gonna click a yellow button over here, put it to DC volts. Now, you can connect your intertwined <laughs> uh, positive lead, and this port right here, amp A. Now, you can put this, well, hook up your negative to the uh, the battery, your little bolt you put in there, or you can just, this top post, just clamp it right to the top of the battery, then take your positive lead, put it on the cable. As you see, I'm gonna read that, but it will drop when I hold it, because I'm powering some uh, internal piece on the car. I think it's the... That's how you uh, check for a load. If it's high, you basically have to find where your fuse box is. There's one in here in this car. And there's a fuse box inside the car. Sometimes you have a couple fuse boxes underneath the dash. Could be on the passenger side, maybe one under here on the dash and one on the side. So you have to consult your owner's manual or service manual so you'll know what goes where. Notice something strange with this car. Note that reading. I reconnect my meter. I'll read 0.87. If I hold it for around 30 seconds, if I can, this is getting hard. If I hold it, you're going to see that drop to what it just was. I think it has something to do with the interior lights. And then we're going to drop this thing, hopefully, for changes holding on show you wait wait see right there flex so that's strange so we're good with it. I'll add this in when you are checking for a parasitic load with a car with an under hood light like this one you must make sure that the light is disconnected because if you leave the light connected hoods up you're gonna be picking up what the, what it takes to uh, power that light probably around like an amp or so on your, on your meter so you're gonna go what the hell what the hell's drawing one amp in this car it's gonna make it go nuts because the hoods is not always up when you're driving around or the key off in the car park you know usually you would shut the hood or disconnect the light so it doesn't burn down your battery so that's a tip for you because it's gonna whack out your reading so make sure that is disconnected if you have an under hood light lens you gotta disconnect it or else you're gonna see that draw on your meter it's gonna mess you all up so just to just for fun and games check this out I just happened to leave my meter like this and I walked around the car and I noticed the uh, interior lights were on and I went how did that happen so that's hooked up like that 
hooked up like that. And wait a minute. Uh huh. Yep. That's being completed on this hair box. That's pretty funny. Yup, that's hilarious. Anywho, that's it for this video. Hope it helps someone.